Hello, welcome back to WWE 2K24, my rise. And we're with the Dark Horse. Uh, in the last episode, we had to wrestle Kane and do some BS with Brass Knucks, which didn't work after the first time. Until we found a way around it, but it is what it is. And let's see if now we actually have a normal match. Who's... Who's in my DMs? I'm pressing DMs. Like, who's in my DMs? Come on, man. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade anything. We have no points to spend. Okay. Uh, come on, Mizzy. What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, Maybe. yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. He Easy to was. talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? Yes, it is. The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not yeah. about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up, I'll keep knocking them down. Okay, we'll continue the story. We did have some points, but not enough to so, uh, do it. I wonder what happened if I went with Dirty Dom. I wonder if I joined the Judgment Day. Thanks again. Bye. A year? And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion, but the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. So. Drew back in time next. Where's CM Punk when I need him? The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And is for the undisputed WWE Universal. Just look at this specimen, carved from marble. He's not a Greek god, he's a Scottish god. Drew McIntyre in peak physical condition. He is focused and he is ready for a fight. And there is no telling what he might do here tonight. Well, hopefully he doesn't injure me too badly. The Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire-breathing dragon. 
Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish Warriors battleground, and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. I'm trying, but they're not making it easy. I wonder if he's going to claim all me off the spot, like he did with Seth. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? I've been champion for a year, man. Like, have some respect. I wouldn't mind losing it so I can actually have my own entrance back. There's nothing left to do but saddle up and get this one started. Time for me to do a little flippy flip. Who's gonna kick me in the face? Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent, from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. As the champ reaches 365... Pro wrestling. Title, can we can say it now. Who's had a tougher year? Oh, he's getting it from all sides. The Miz has wanted the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in his brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. From the top. Got him in the back. Balls count anywhere. That means it's no disqualification. No. Whoa. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Tire is being neutralized. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponent. Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura lock applied. Will they tap? Nope. Good luck getting out of this. Uh, I just did. I guess that's one way to do it. Body slam slipped out. Inverted DDT. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Wow. Oh, into a power bomb. 
No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. He turns it around. And now he's dictating the pace. Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. Cross the knee. Nope. I wanted to get back in. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh. Way up there. Strikes with a kick. Way to steer clear. And Zagiri finds its mark. Ducks through, up and over, Salina Del Sol, into the ring now, he's going for it all, uh oh, big coup de gras, oh, what a landing, from ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off, what in the world, I think I kind of got in between the legs as well, dreams. let's see if that kick out was a spark, or is it the challenger's last gasp, and there needs to be a refocus now, that was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Boom! Right on target. Oh, somebody's got to stop this. Drew fending him off. Oh, God. That might have punctured something. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. He steps foot in the ring again. He's looking to take this fight to a whole new level. Springboard. Hurricane Rana. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. in the back the champ taking their share of hits now tossing their opponent like they're nothing ah crap and this one might be headed ringside calf kick right on point Chair. Oh, God. Oh, man. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh, getting smacked in the head with a chair. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. <laughs> right to their face. This doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like trying to end someone's career. Oh, look at that scope slam. Guys, they're getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Oh, oh he's going to... Oh, oh, I'm bleeding as well. Desk. Well, 
the outside. Oh, miss. Ah. Pin attack for the championship. Shoulders down. And a champ beats the count early. Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing. And after this match is already gone for so long. McIntyre needs to find a recourse. Find another option to take this match. Boy, forever. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Those are folding chairs, but they got Thanks, ref, for getting chairs. in the way. You really helped me. I press uh, I press the, the trigger and I press the he bloody I thought oh I'll grab the chair and when he comes running at me I'll throw it at him the ref was in the way and then I held the trigger and to press X to the special and he did nothing But we won, so it is what it is. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Thank you for being so helpful, game. Oh, yeah, so helpful. Now I'm at 365 days. Give me a break. How is this tomorrow? Well, you know, sheer will and determination, I assume. Uh, I can't upgrade that. I can only upgrade striking and grap. Okay, I'll do grappling at least. Come on then, Miz, what, you what's told the plan? Me a year ago, that you would still be WWE Universal Champion? I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we going to keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay. And what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours, too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or... or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. I'm good to next thing you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm going to break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H, I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand, 
as a real negative in his next performance review. I wonder if Adam Pierce is available. You're going to regret this. You first. Well, we just took it to the maze. Let's get to the next thing. Become a double champion. The rumors on social media were true. It's okay. the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. I think we've afforded a better shot. Sure. Must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another Ooh, The ladders are we'll freaking out. If this is a one-time appearance or a more... It was just how the lights are shining off them. She got like wood around the. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't you dare. That's Sean being Sean. Do I get any more points? Oh, I got 25 points. Uh, yep. We need one more point, but we'll do that. Well, he kind of made me, so... Justine. Grayson Waller. What's up, Justine? Hey there, champ. Wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. I guess you don't read social media much. Eh, I try not to. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Justine. I was a big fan of your work back in the day, and that comeback run with your niece was certainly memorable. Thanks. That was the point. Anyway, not sure if you've heard, but I've transitioned into a behind-the-scenes producer role here in NXT. So I can tell you that your request to have a match here tonight has been officially approved. That's yeah, good. I actually already saw Shawn Michaels posted that. Maybe I do need to start paying more attention to social media. Nonetheless, we're excited to have you here at NXT for tonight. And maybe more long term? What exactly is your plan? You sound like everyone else on the internet. But sorry, can't give you any scoops. I'll tell the world what I plan on doing here, after my match. Fine. Good luck out there. And welcome to NXT, for however long that ends up being. Well, as long as I get Grayson Waller's title. What's up, Grayson? Well, look who it is. The high and mighty undisputed WWE Universal Champion himself has graced us with his presence here in NXT. I don't really know you, Grayson, but I assume that was sarcasm. Of course it was. You can walk in here with your fancy title, but I need you to understand that I'm the man around these parts, mate. Look, I get more than anyone what it takes to be a champion, so... I respect what you've accomplished across multiple brands in WWE. There's no need to get defensive. I'm the NXT champion, so I'll get however I want to get. And by the way, I'm also the biggest box office superstar ever. So why are you even here on my show? Trying to glom onto the Grayson Waller effect, I presume. No. I've been getting that question a lot. But sorry, champ. You're gonna have to wait along with everyone else to find out. After my match. Go to the match then.
The big strong boy. The following contest. Tyler Bates. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Bates. Tyler Bates. Way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Tyler Bates. Tyler may be all smiles backstage, but he brings the fight when it counts. Yeah, man has been proud to represent an entire generation on a continent. He's proud of his past in the United Kingdom and Europe, but now he looks to conquer the world. Bates, the first NXT UK Triple Crown Champion, NXT UK Champ, Tag Champ, and NXT Heritage Cup Champion. Big strong boy vibes all day. No weak link in his game. A true example of British strong style. And the Universal Champion steps into a new battleground here in NXT. And his opponent from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. I certainly would not have predicted we'd see the champ end up here. Nobody would have, but I guarantee there isn't an NXT fan anywhere who's complaining. For now. For now. All right then, we'll beat Mr. Bait, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Bates. And we might end this episode. Yeah, we'll end the episode after Mr. Bait. Watch him do his flippy flip. Let's see how the Dark Horse's next chapter begins. Here's something you don't see every day. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is having a match on NXT. Well, while we're certainly excited, there's one person who isn't, and that's SmackDown GM, The Miz. The Miz. We don't know the champion's intentions here in NXT, but we do know Miz has already filed a complaint to Triple H and the board of directors regarding the champion's appearance tonight. We'll have to see how that all plays out. Bionic elbow right to the forehead. Oh, man. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Come on, Mr. Bait. What is he gonna do here? Face Buster! Yeah, I need to change that. Or change my finisher on the outside. Oh my god, a DDT! Lights out. Tyler Bate in a state of distress. Bate has to find an opening and respond. He's absorbed some damage already. Maybe I need to up the, the uh, difficulty. We'll test that out next time. Arm drag takedown. He eludes the contact. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. As the hook, looking for sliced bread, but a counter power slam. Now Bate looking for some momentum. Yeah, Tyler getting some newly determined focus. 
That holds back Bates' attack. Finding their way out of this position will create separation. Got yet. Quick thinking pays off. Hoist it up. Go Buster. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Right to the face. My God. An unrelenting assault being brought to bait. Bait has to wake up and fast. Dude. This could be big. Climb. Going up high. Uh oh. Why is your truck stamping on these bits? What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal Champion. But we still don't know why he's here in the first place. Patience, Saxton. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT to compete in front of all of you and finally get away from the Miz but let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest while this felt good to get my first NXT win <laughs> it won't be my last I'm not here just for a one-off appearance. <laughs> no. This, this is bigger than that. Every champion in WWE walks in the shadow of Roman Reigns. Me, more than any other. So I'm here because I want something that sets me apart from the head of the table. Something that Roman never won. And that is the NXT Championship. Oh, double champ. So, Shawn Michaels, if you're looking for a can't miss main event, Title versus title. Ah, I'm ready when you are. Did the WWE Universal Champion just ask for an NXT title match? Not sure how much of an this music's wrong. I'm gonna check the music. Well, I know I'd love to see great. So I sound like I'm in a porno now. With SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's gonna have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to check my champion's music and I will uh and we'll go to see what happens next. Will I get the NXT title shot? We'll see. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.